Intelligent people generally don't see love as rational. They think it makes them vulnerable and often avoid the subject if they can help it. Those who have ventured into it and gotten hurt do not want anything to do with it. They feel like it wasted their time and left them with nothing. Love is a very interesting thing. According to renowned American novelist F. Scott Fitzgerald, I love her and that's the beginning and the end of everything. He took quite an interesting view of love as disruptive. Perhaps when you fall in love, you are not the same person, you are another person loving and caring for the person you love. Why then do intelligent people have a problem with this? Perhaps it's because with love, you don't think about so many things, you simply follow your heart. In today's video, I'm going to share with you 13 reasons why highly intelligent people struggle with love. Number 1. They overthink everything. They tend to think about everything. Love is often spontaneous. You don't do a lot of thinking, you just do. You sort of go with the flow. Intelligent people don't like this. They want to be able to control results from well thought out planning. Love seldom works like that. If you're in love with someone and they love you back, you cannot always determine what they will do. Sometimes you may be having lunch with a work colleague to discuss business and you will get a call from your loved one asking you to meet him somewhere. It can all seem crazy and sometimes exciting. Highly intelligent people are usually planned and organized. Those types of things can annoy them if care is not taken. They may even think of what possible things can make the relationship go sour. Always thinking can prevent them from being in the moment. This can make their partners dismiss them as unromantic. Number 2. They are comfortable being alone. Highly intelligent people operate better alone. Have you seen them work before? They can pace a beat and then step out for some fresh air. Most of them appear a bit odd when they do these things and to prevent people from staring at them, they prefer to work alone. According to Interesting Psychology, a website, intelligent people are generally comfortable all by themselves. In fact, the more intelligent someone is, the more they value independence. They want to be able to hang out with their friends and do their work before the relationship interferes. Once it starts, they will start looking for a way to leave. Intelligent people are naturally independent and having a relationship that deprives them of this is not very appealing. Number 3. They are very goal-oriented. Highly intelligent people have a lot of goals. Most of the time, they are big goals. In trying to change the world, implement a problematic but useful policy, inventing new technology and even writing a book, it takes a lot of sacrifice and time. If they enter into a relationship, they want to continue to work on their goals as before. People who are their partners in a relationship can often feel second place because they always seem preoccupied with work. But then, if they spend a lot of time with their partners and they think their work is suffering, it still makes them unhappy and the time spent together pointless. Dating intelligent people means understanding how important their job is to their purpose as people and not trying to compete. This is easier said than done in reality. So many couples have separated because of this type of behavior. Number 4. The fear emotions may derail them from their goals. When entering in a relationship, an average intelligent person wonders whether getting emotionally attached will not hinder them from their work. They can therefore feel trapped in relationships. This will create problems between them and their partners who will not understand what their problem is. Intelligent people really shouldn't date people that are not equally as intelligent or even more than they are. That way, also, when they have these challenges, their partners would understand. Dating someone who doesn't understand what you're going through can be a nightmare. You don't want to be stuck in one, do you? What you can do as an intelligent person is to have a long conversation with the person you are interested in having a relationship with. Explain to him or her what you have going on and how much it means to you. Also explain the time implication for the two of you. Make this very clear from the first day. When you have to miss a scheduled movie night to work on an idea that just came to you, you will not feel guilty and your partner will be more understanding. Even when you have these conversations, it doesn't always work. Your partner might still be mad whether or not you informed him or her. Number 5. They don't see any rational benefits. 
Highly intelligent people sometimes question the point of relationships. The few people can do without it and stay buried in work. The few that being in a relationship does not impact the world in any way. But the work they do can. This type of mindset rubs off on their level of commitment in the relationship. They may not call because they are busy doing important things. This doesn't always end well. They may forget meetups and even their partner's birthday and only try to make up after the fact. This can cause a lot of problems between partners in a relationship. It is better not to be in a relationship than to be in one and not be committed. You will only end up hurting each other. Number 6. They intimidate people. People can feel intimidated by highly intelligent people's success and confidence and not want to get involved with them. They can feel that they can't keep up. This is more often than not true. Highly intelligent people may have several engagements in a week and their partners may find it challenging to keep up with the relationship. They eventually get tired and just let go. Number 7. They put up walls around their heart. Intelligent people anticipate heartbreaks more than ordinary people. Ordinary people will give a shot. If it works out, fine. If it doesn't work, then at least they tried. Intelligent people don't want to try out something they already know will not work to start with. They feel it's a waste of time. This is actually a problem for most of them. It makes them not see all the beautiful sides of their partners because they are afraid they might get hurt. They end up depriving themselves a chance to be happy. Number 8. They value their freedom. Relationship means commitment. It means checking up regularly on your partner, remembering special days and making time to be with them. All this sounds pretty normal but may be difficult for highly intelligent people to do. They want to be in a relationship without changing their formal routine. They don't want to be bogged for not calling because they are busy trying to make a difference. In their mind, their working hard will help the future of the two of you. They can't understand why you can't understand that. If you're not ready to be on your own a lot, it is probably a good idea not to get involved with a highly intelligent person. Number 9. They have very high standards. Another problem for highly intelligent people is their standards. They may not only have very detailed physical attributes they are looking for in a woman. They may also have emotional qualities and the thinking pattern they look out for. This can make them picky or controlling. When you're with them, they may expect a standard of courtesy and composure which you may not already possess. This can make the two of you quarrel a lot. They may also try to make you as smart as they are by recommending books and activities which if you don't follow through it, will make them throw a tantrum. Number 10. They get bored easily. Just as they can be all over someone over an amazing intellectual attribute one day, they can get bored tomorrow. They think of too many things and sometimes cannot seem to make a decision. They may keep you on hold while making up their mind whether they want the relationship or not. Number 11. They don't like losing. The highly intelligent people usually don't like losing at anything. They would break up with you simply not to feel the loss of fight. This can be very childish and is a crucial reason why many of them struggle with love. Number 12. They are more guarded. They try to guard their hearts by not being too much into the relationship. They can make the relationship feel one-sided and make their partners unhappy. Number 13. They don't listen to their hearts. They generally listen to their head and not their hearts. They ensure emotional bias and try to deal with their partners rationally. Unfortunately, humans are often not rational and this can make both of them and their partners unhappy in their relationship.